Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing my favourites video of September. So, if any of you are Onces out there, you will know that the Once Upon a Time series has started again. And of course, Once Upon a Time is one of my favourite series, so that's why it's in my favourites video. Of course, I don't have the new series of Once Upon a Time uh, because it's still being, uh, it's still showing on TV. So this is the only one that I can show you. I have all except for season four, which I'm hoping to get for Christmas. But yeah. So since 2010, I've been dying to watch Downton Abbey and um, I decided that as it's the last season, I was like, okay, I can just binge watch all of the series. And I'm currently on this season, series four, which is the one that I've been dreading the most actually, because spoiler alert, if you don't already know, someone's died. <laughs> It's so sad, it's so sad, it was so sad, I just watched the last episode. But also, something happens to one of my favourite characters, Anna, in this one. And I'm not ready for it, but I know it's coming, because my mum, that was the one thing my mum said. I said, is there any, like, really vulgar bits in it or anything that's going to be, like, quite shocking? And yeah, she told me that something happens to Anna in the series. And I was like, no, like... So yeah, this is season four. This is the one I'm, I'm starting today or tomorrow. So I have started my second Harry Potter marathon of all the books again. And so of course this is gonna be my favorite as well. This isn't my favorite book, but it's my favorite book at the moment that I'm reading and it's Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. When I first read it, I had a lot of prejudice against it because of the film. And so this time round, I'm trying to like forget the film and just really appreciate it. I mean, I did the first time round, but I still like, because of that prejudice was still in my head, I sort of was like, oh, I don't really want to like read it with much positivity. But now that I've reread it, it's a lot. I, I can appreciate it a bit more. So yeah, couple of five. So any mixes out there since 2011, I've loved Little Mix and they're heading towards their new album, Get Weird. And their newest song is literally my jam and it is Love Me Like You. Again, I don't have a physical copy of the single or anything. I do have it on my phone because I purchased it. So instead, I just thought I'd show you all the albums that I have so far of Little Mix and my first single, Campbell. And then I have the deluxe of DNA, so it's got the sleeve, um, which has the bonus DVD included with the Wings video, the Wings acoustic video, We Are Young acoustic video, and exclusive video with them talking about the creation of DNA. So, and then of course, Salute, one of my favourite tracks on it called Little Me. And then my favourite track to move to is Move. Uh, no. <laughs> but movie's really good because it, it's like a, it's it's an instant. It makes you happy the moment you listen to it, and that's what I love about Little Mix. They always have tracks on their albums that instantly you just like you want to move to. My favorite track at the moment is Love Me Like You. I just love it. It's just so good, sixties vibe type of music, and I just really love it. On the same line of Little Mix, as you saw from my recent purchases video, I got a couple of Little Mixes. Uh, makeup stuff because I finally had enough money to buy it but I would definitely recommend these two products which I've used. This nail varnish actually stayed on for ages. Seriously it's so good and this is Perry's one as I already said in the video and it's just a great colour and it, it goes with everything. And then Jade's lipstick. I'm not wearing Jade's actually now. I'm wearing Perry's. I finally got it. We found it online someone was still selling it and it's so good too high for you it's so good i love it but yeah this is jade's so i'll just show you that again <laughs> so yeah and it's just so good they stay on for so long i would even say that it's better than the mac matte range <laughs> at an affordable price because it's like so cheap and but it's good it's like not cheap and nasty, it's cheap and good. And it it stays on for ages. And my sister always says, It's a good lipstick if it only comes 
out when you eat at the back of your lips. And, and that's what it does, like it, it inside of your lips. It stays on the front, but it like disappears a bit at the back, but it's still, it's still good. Thank you for watching the video. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed it and you got a lot out of this video and I hope that you will go and listen to Love Me Like You because it's so good and it would really mean a lot to me if you would like this video, subscribe, comment below and also if you would buy Love Me Like You, that would mean a lot. Right. <laughs> I'm not advertising Little Mix at all. Like, I'm not getting sponsored by them to say that, but I'm a mixer and I love that song so much, and I think that you will love it too. Right? Me, we friends. <laughs> Have a brilliant week, and I will see you again soon. Bye. <laughs>